Hi guys, it's me the Big B and welcome back to another video. Now I hope this one's going to be slightly better quality because I've changed my setup a little bit. Well I've actually can change my entire building and my entire country. I've just relocated back to the UK from Gibraltar. I haven't got nothing set up in here. This is going to be new office as you can hear. It's kind of empty because it's very echoey. Um, but I'm slowly setting things up and I'm using a new camera because the last one I used or the one I've previously been using it was like an old webcam. It was like 15 frames a second and the quality wasn't brilliant so I'm trying this. Hopefully this will be a lot better guys. Now today's topic I want to touch on is a one um, that I've been sort of like asked questions on quite a while and I did get into a bit of a debate this morning with one of my colleagues about this and it's about a phone, a mobile phone or a uh, a tablet for that matter, can, can it, is it possible, can it read and uh, detect electromagnetic fields? And the answer I got from my colleague, because uh, basically, I'll tell you a little bit about how, how this how this conversation started. I've got someone who writes, um, obviously, paranormal apps to do a one for the ghost trail, for us. And the way it works, it's more like an obelisk device rather than sort of an echo box type of thing. And obviously the software reads the sensors in the device, i.e. the electromagnetic compass, the proximity sensors and things to, to basically detect energy fields around around the device. And this caused a bit of controversy. My colleague said it's not possible. He went away and found articles online to state that it wasn't possible. And technically part of it is right. A phone, i.e. what I'm using here, cannot detect an EMF uh, electromagnetic field the same as a K2, which we have here. This has got a special sensor in it, a, a chip or whatever they want to call it, that is very sensitive to electromagnetic fields and that's what it's designed for. Now your phone doesn't necessarily have that built in. This bit is true. But what your phone does have is an electromagnetic compass. Now there's loads of videos online, you can go and check this on YouTube, and the one, one specific one that I actually showed um, to prove my point was a guy had an electromagnetic compass. He had it set up to uh, uh, basically a motor with a dial. So obviously the way your electromagnetic compass works, it is reading an electromagnetic field. It's already doing that because it's reading the Earth's magnetic field to determine north, south, east and west and its spatial awareness of where it is and all that crap. That then sends a signal to the software which if you've got an app on your phone, like a compass app, that then displays it visually for you to look at, and it points north. And if you move your phone, as you've seen with these apps, it keeps pointing north. It's, that's what it does, and that's how it works. But who says that that data that it's sending has to be displayed as a compass reading? And that's the theory of what I'm going to get into. So yes, it can't read like a, a, an EMF meter, but an electromagnetic compass, by definition of what it does, if you bring another magnetic force or a strong enough magnetic field into contact with it, it disrupts it. It cocks it up. And the way this guy showed it on the video I was saying, he brought a magnet next to the next to the compass, and the dial that it was connected to on the motor went nuts. Went absolutely nuts. Same principle in, in planes when you know if, if there's a strong magnetic thing, it can affect the compasses because they're that sensitive. And that's the way it works. Yes, it's not detecting the electromagnetic field in the same way as your K2 meter does, but it's still detecting the change, the influence that that magnetic field is having on your electromagnetic compass, and that can be detected, and it can be displayed using the software, and that's what the, the kind of the paranormal software is doing. It's taken the readings from the X, Y, and Z, you've probably seen it on some apps if, if any of you guys have used the apps, that it's got the X, Y, and Z readings, and you've got all these numbers flashing around all over the fucking place. That's the data it's reading. It's, it's no, again, the, the app writer should maybe make this a bit clearer. That bit I do agree with, guys. Should be a little bit clearer that it's not reading electromagnetic energy as, as the K2. What it's doing is reading the readings from the compass, and then what happens is if a strong enough magnetic force, and we believe that spirits are made up of electromagnetic energy, that's how they manipulate other devices. So if they come into contact close to the phone or they can manipulate that energy around the phone, that disrupts the compass, the electromagnetic compass field. The software detects that and that data can be used. And we still don't know how spirit are able to use that energy to manipulate these 
devices to give words and sentences, just like we don't know how they manipulate a normal digital recorder to imprint a voice that they don't actually have onto a digital recorder, basically a voice out of thin air. Um, but seemingly, they're able to do it, and we don't question that because of the evidence we've caught. But my argument this morning was, your phone, by definition of what it is, can be influenced by outside forces. You've got your, obviously your digital, your electromagnetic compass, you've got your proximity sensor that's sensing if there's something near the phone, how close it is if you've got the phone to your ear, that's outside forces influencing a, a sensor. You've got the motion detection, like for when you're doing your, your fitness things and the phone can knows when it's been moved, or you've got these now gestures where you can do this with your phone and it sets the light off or it sets the camera off and different motion. So all these sensors can be read by software and that's what these apps are doing. So yes, it can't read EMF like K2, but it can detect outside electromagnetic fields if they're close enough to the phone by using the compass and you know uh, primarily that's what the compass does and then you can use the other sent data from the other sensors to see if there's anything maybe it's getting close or move near the phone and that data can be read as well so there's arguments for both sides but i think both sides should make things a little bit clearer the operators should obviously say we're not reading in electromagnetic field as such, we're reading the data from the compass that that electromagnetic field around the device that's getting close to the device is causing, it's causing an effect on the, on the compass, that's the effect we're reading that gives us our data. But also, on the other fence, these articles that say it's impossible for a, a mobile device to detect an out the thing like that, yes that is true to that degree, but what they don't tell you is that it can detect that field in other ways, i.e. using the compass, using other sensors on the phone, that it is possible to detect a disturbance in the electromagnetic field. It, it is humanly possible. You stick a magnet, you stick your compass on, your compass up on your phone, and then you bring a magnet next to that phone and you see what happens. It's going to go mental, it's going to have an influence on the reading from that compass, and that's what they detect, and that's whatever the spirit can do, can use, that's how it works. So like I say, there is both sides to each argument, guys, but it still is possible. That's what the ghost app writers are doing. I know there's some dodgy friggin' apps out there and, you know, they, they're just random word generators. But the ones that are genuinely taking data from the sensors to, to try and detect any anomaly or any influence within the field around the phone or in the, the environment, or as much as what the phone can detect, they just use what's already there, guys. Your phone can already do this. And by saying to me, to me, by saying that the phone can't detect an, ele an outside electro uh, electromagnetic force, that's a gobful to get around every time. I don't know how I managed to say it this many times. But to say your phone can't do that is to say your phone then can't operate as a phone. Your phone's getting a signal from a satellite when you turn your sat nav thing to use it as sat nav. It's getting Wi Fi signal, which is a signal, which is a a signal coming in that the phone is able to perceive and communicate with and get data from. The fact is that the phone operating as a phone, when you make a phone call, it's sending a signal out and it's receiving a signal in. That signal can be interfered with, can be manipulated. All these sensors in your phone are just doing what they do to make the phone a phone. And all the app writers are doing is they're taking data from all those sensors to use to be able to do what they do in their apps, to, to give the bird or whatever you want to call it a, a chance to manipulate that energy around the phone that can be detected, that the software that can then help the spirit use to pull a word out or imprint a voice or whatever, however the software works. They are reading sensors on the phone and displaying that sort of information. So it is possible, like I say, it's just the technology that's already there. They're just using what's already there. So app writers, make it clear in your statements when you're putting these apps online and you think that it's not working as a K2 meter because it can't. I know some of them put, even put the little red lights on the app, but what they're doing is, it's not detecting it, like I say, the same way as this. What it's doing is, as a magnetic field gets closer to the phone and stronger, that it has a, an effect 
on the compass inside, the magnetic compass, and the stronger the magnetic field and the closer it is, the stronger that influence is, and the day you're able to write the software that takes account of that, and they can detect that. So that's how they can make the little red lights on, say, the software work. If there's nothing there at all, it's green. If they start getting interference on the magnetic compass and it gets stronger, the software just lights the lights up more. It's working in a slightly different way to this, but it's kind of given the same idea. There is a strong magnetic influence close to the device that is being detected by whichever means. And that's how it can work. The only way that can't work is when you get these apps on, say, like Windows. Microsoft Windows and you get them on laptops and computers um, and they have these things built in. Now I do believe Spirit can still manipulate the words coming out of these things and these online radio ones to scan online radio but I do debate about how they can detect because a laptop or a PC does not even have a magnetic compass in it that can be used to detect uh, an outside magnetic field. It just doesn't have one in. The phone does because it needs one to do what it does. The computers and that don't. The laptops don't. So when these, this soft, like the software on the PCs have these K2 meters on the screen and they do this and they say, oh, it's a fancy algorithm because they're getting data from the Wi-Fi signal, it can't. The phone kind of get, they don't use the Wi-Fi signal necessarily to determine whether there's a disturbance in the magnetic field. They're using the compass, which is a magnetic device. A, an electromagnetic compass which can and can be influenced by magnetic fields outside so on PCs and things like that no on a phone I can see how they could program it to work um, again not as accurate as the real thing but still plausible so I'm gonna leave it there guys obviously um, there will be two sides to this camp some that say yes some that say nay but just take into consideration the technology that's there in your phone or in your tablet. It has got this compass in there, a magnetic compass, that can be confused and, and give false readings if a strong enough magnetic field is, is, is put near it or around it. It does influence it. That can be read and that can, data can be used. Um, it is as simple as that, guys. So I'm going to leave it there. Any comments, please, no negative comments. I've had some bells on my last videos, the Huff videos. Keyboard warriors, people who are just bored, trolls and things. When you're putting the negative shit, I ain't even going to respond to it, guys. It's as simple as that. You're wasting your time. Because, like I said, I've had some brilliant stuff. Um, in one of my last videos, I've had everything from the accent to the wallpaper that was in the room to the room I'm in. One guy even thinking, because I've got like a high hairline, which I've had since I was a child thing I'm like mega mind. it's because they have no fucking argument about the, the content of the video they have not no, no they kind of even raise an argument so they just insult you or they pick on something else which again I don't mind uh, I will not respond to it but I don't mind it because it shows other people genuine people what idiots you really are by just typing this crap if you've got nothing positive to say just don't say it if you don't like the video you don't have to watch it I will watch a video and if I don't like it I won't put a derogatory comment on it just because I can't I just go away and watch something else or like what someone else said I couldn't watch 45 minutes of this crap because uh, I was talking about Huff and all that controversy no one forced you to watch 45 minutes of it if you didn't like it within the first five minutes turn it off simple it's not rocket science guys so anyway rambled on enough any positive comments I will answer them back just drop them down below as per usual uh, I'm sorry about the audio in here. I will sort of fix that. It's just it's an empty room and it's it's I can even hear it echoing now and hopefully this video will be a lot better quality as in frames per second and just quality. So thanks a lot guys for watching and we shall catch you next time.